Hi, so I came out today to, to make another flight uh, with my uh, Reptile S1100 and um, let me just put the sunglasses because it's a little bit of sun here and uh, well um, I, I will be flying over 4G uh, 4G cell phone network and uh, and I'll be using a controller that I've made myself to connect it uh, to the mission planner. This is the controller that I've uh, that I've built um, using a, a multiple uh, input and output uh, board that uh, will be connected through USB and then will work as, as a joystick. You can connect uh, up to eight uh, potentiometers. I have one, two, three, four, and uh, this switch that is working as a potentiometer as well or is connected on a potentiometer port so this is minimum this this is maximum on the pmw range uh, so aileron elevator throttle i have the camera tilting here and this is to put lights on lights off i've put the radio modes the same way the same way i have RTL, this is auto tune and this is auto mode. Then I have also assigned some more uh, some more switches. This is to arm and disarm the plane, and this is for takeoff, auto takeoff. So I can uh, once uh, everything is good, I can arm the vehicle and then click on auto takeoff. The, the plane will will throttle up, and then I just have to launch it by hand. All right, so uh, this is connected via USB into the to the mission planner, and then into mission planner, you just have to go in here into joystick tab, and you see that everything is working. You have to set up your inputs and uh, what each input does, as well as the as well as the buttons that we have here. Okay and then to, to fly we just have to enable it and you can fly so firstly I will take off with the help of the radio and then I, I'll come here I will enable the joystick my console joystick which is just a prototype I want to build a, a good-looking one uh, I've just used uh, an empty box that I had in my house once I switch once I put the, the, the joystick enabled, I will switch off the radio because I'm not going to need it anymore. I'll fly it through through this, through the HUD that will 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 display. Let me, that will display the the camera picture in here that will be coming through 4G as well. I'll be flying FPV through 4G, cell phone network, and then once I want to. To, to land the vehicle, I'll bring it to, to home, I will just press RTL and wherever the, the plane is, it, it will come to the base and uh, once the plane is nearby, I will switch on the, the radio and then disable the, the joystick and land it normally with the radio. This was uh, not a fast, but uh, a recap of the system that I'm using. I have my uh, my Reptile S1100 right here. Let's plug it in and uh, let's fly. In here, as you can see, I have two battery packs because I, I really need, uh, because the, the battery pack is so big, I need the, the battery pack to stay in this area here. But as we have this wall here, I had to split the, the battery pack in two. So uh, now I just plug the first one uh, to get the, uh, the 4G communication. And uh, as soon as I have everything working well, I will plug the, the second battery and get ready to, to fly. I got connection with the, with the plane. As we can see, we have a picture here coming from the 4G connection. 
I do have control with the with the normal uh, transmitter. So let's uh, check if the joystick is working well. Let's enable it and move move the, the surfaces. As we can see, the surfaces are working as supposed. So we are good to go. Disable it. The test is done. I do have control with the, with the radio as well, just fine. This is the, the camera tilting that I was talking about earlier. I have it on the radio and I have it also in here, which is not enabled now. Okay, so camera facing forward. Everything is uh, ready, so uh, I will just close. I will now just close the, the airplane. And, uh, and take off, it's pretty much done. So the airplane is ready to fly right now. Let me just put in fly-by-wire, check that uh, the surfaces are wor working well, are stabilizing well. All right. And there, let's arm the vehicle. Thrust, so we are ready to take off. Let's go. So I have now already transitioned. Uh, to uh, to my uh, control, I am flying through 4G right now. As you can see, so there is a little bit of lag on the on the video side, which is kind of normal. So I can tilt the camera down here, tilt it up. Okay, I'm on cruise mode. I love this uh, this flying mode to. Um, to fly over 4G because it locks on the heading and it locks on the altitude and it will decide um, the throttle amount uh, to fly at a steady speed so uh, what you choose here with the throttle potentiometer is the speed and not the potential and not the throttle percentage that you are using okay so if I want more speed I increase less speed I decrease and the plane will decide the throttle level to keep the speed that I want. There is a bit of wind there, up there. I'm uh, almost, uh, well, let's say, 700 feet high, which is approximately 200 meters, and I'm getting a 21 kilometers per hour speed, which you can see here. And this is the speed, uh, the, the wind direction where the, the, the wind is coming from and uh, well this is pretty much what I see from the 4G and uh, as you can see it's pretty nice it, it lags sometimes which is uh, which is normal but uh, it's flyable completely flyable no problem So the bird is on the ground. I have not, I haven't flown that much. So half an hour of flight. I still have 70% uh, of battery. So I've traveled for uh, 23 kilometers, more or less. And uh, as you can see from from the video feed, which is uh, still on, today it's, it's quite a windy. Just. really windy today but at the end it was a very very pleasant flight and uh, this controller behaves awesomely so uh, I really want to improve